Good morning, guys. Happy hump day. It is Wednesday, the 6th, 2020. Um, yeah, so I got, I, I, I had a little bit of trouble sleeping last night. Um, I had some issues with my, my cyst. Um, it, um, ended up leaking a little bit. I think a pus. I'm sorry, I'm sharing too much if that's too much for you guys. Um, it ended up having a little bit of trouble and, um, the ENT folks were obviously closed. My primary care was closed. Um, the only alternative would have been the emergency or emergent care was closed as well. Um, but I have an app. So there's this app that someone, um, I, I ended up getting introduced to called 98.6. Um, and basically it gives you care, um, or it gives you access to a doctor. Um, and so I was able to chat with a doctor last night and they said, it's normal. It's okay. Just make sure you let your, your ENT folks know that, that it was draining some and, and stuff. Um, so it, it drained a little bit more, just a little bit last night, but now it's looking better ish. Um, and so I did, I did, uh, um, message my, um, my ENT guy, um, through my chart. So my chart's kind of the app that my primary care and, and everyone uses. Um, so it's Epic based, same thing like Kaiser, um, and several other large health systems use. Um, my, my place ends up using that. So, um, I got to do that. Um, but it was nice being able to chat with a physician last night telling me that I didn't need to go to the emergency room. I mean, that was the biggest thing. I just wasn't sure, like, with pus coming, a little bit of pus coming out and stuff, if I needed to go to the emergency room or it was safe to just stay home. Um, and so that was really nice. I, I liked that. And um, so there you have it. 98.6. Uh, it was well worth it. They, for the first year, they charged me $20, just a, a flat fee, um, and then a dollar per visit because they have to legally charge you something per visit. Um, subsequent years, it's like $120, um, and then it's still a dollar per visit. But that that's pretty good for on-demand. Like, if you think about it, um, I was able to see a physician and make sure I didn't have to go to the emergency room. My copay for the emergency room would have been $200. So, uh, I mean one year, even one visit will have, if it keeps me out of the emergency room, I will have saved money. Um, not that I go to the emergency room a lot. I, I, I've only had to go once in my life. Um, actually I take that back. I think it was twice, twice. Um, so, you know, um, it is what it is, but, uh, at least at least it's okay and I was able to look at it or get it looked at and you know you can it's text-based they need to do video they'll do video with you um but it was perfect it just it was nice it just a little reassurance they told me you know just keep doing what you're doing and you know just follow up and I like that and they said if if something changes or get worse just just hop on and they're they're willing to to be there and help me out so um it was definitely good so um, definitely good. So that's kind of what was going on last night with me. Um, so I'm going to get the video posted for you guys for today. And, um, uh, sorry, you guys, I'm trying not to share that with you guys so you guys don't get grossed out by it. Um, anyways, so yeah, good stuff. We're going to get ready and start breakfast. So I stayed within my points last night. Um, we're going to try and do good today and stay within my Weight Watchers points again. Um, I definitely need to get back. I've, I've gained some weight and I don't like it. I've seen photos of me and I, I want to get back to where I was. Um, I like that. So anyways, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, but definitely gung ho on Weight Watchers again. So you guys will probably hear and see a little bit more about that. So yeah. Got my premier protein shake for today. I got two of these and I'm getting some Morningstar Farms cooking in the microwave right now. I will have a little bit of mustard with it. It'll be nine points. Um, so there you have it. Morningstar Farm breakfast patties 
and mustard. Okay, cover that up. Taking my pills and stuff that I have to take. Antibiotic. Ibuprofen. It helps with the, the pain here. Um, suggested to take it. So I am. So gonna enjoy my breakfast. Got some fruit too, guys. Look at this. Oh, that one's a little hard. Better. Got some grapes, some strawberries, cantaloupe. Pretty good. I'm gonna go enjoy. This is all zero points, so it's good stuff. Okay, I made my salad. We're gonna mix this up. And it's gonna be delicious. Got my salad all mixed up and ready to go. Now we gotta figure out what else to have. I'm gonna cook some of these up in the air fryer and it's gonna be good. These are veggie buffalo style wings. Pretty good. Excited. I added some bell pepper to it today. It's good stuff. Bell pepper adds definitely adds to the, the salad. Makes it good. This is good. So oh, I air fried my little veggie buffalo wings. Look at that. They smell good. I bet they're gonna be crispy. I can't wait to bite into one of them. They're gonna be warm though. They just came out. Okay. This is good air fried. I like this. It's warm. Really good. Really, really good. Hey guys, so I'm going to get my brother and I wanted to share with you guys that I went ahead and I ordered the antibody test from Quest. So I have an appointment Friday afternoon. I get to go check to see if I have the antibodies for COVID-19. So we'll see how this goes. I will make sure to let you guys know. So far I, I watch a YouTube person that had it that was negative. I also know someone in life um, that had one that was also negative. Sorry, I'm trying to cover up there so you don't have to see uh, my cyst. It has been, um, it's been doing better. I ended up having a video visit last night. I think I told you guys that. Not a video visit, but a virtual visit. And um, yeah, so anyways, um, anywho. Uh, so yeah, so I know two people and they, well, I know like one, like I actually know them, know them. Um, I have their like cell phone number. I could text them, I could call them. Um, and another person that I watch on YouTube. So two people that have, are, are both negative for the antibodies. Um, and so kind of interesting. So we'll, we'll see kind of, uh, sorry, it just feels kind of weird. Um, so we will see what happens with me. I don't know. Maybe I've been exposed to it. Maybe I haven't. We'll see what happens. So Friday, I go for the test, 
And so we'll see how this whole thing goes, because it'll be interesting, you know? Very, very interesting. So, um, yeah, definitely excited. Sorry, guys, I, it keeps sliding down. I don't mean to show you guys uh, the, the cyst that's inflamed and stuff. Um, anywho, um, yeah, so I'm excited. So I'm going to go get the antibody test and we'll see how that goes. So I will let you guys know as soon as I know my results, I will make sure to share them in a video. And uh, with things kind of somewhat going back to normal, I am. I asked my marketing guy, yes, I have a marketing guy. I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't create all that creative stuff that I put like on the thumbnails and, and stuff I've posted. Uh, but I've got a guy that is working on a nice new thumbnail as I start kind of staying home and going to work. Staying home and going to work. So it'd be kind of cool. I'm excited to see what he comes up with. He's a pretty creative guy and does quite a bit of stuff. So definitely excited to, to see his creative work. Um, I've been on my diet now for two days. I am like starving right now. I'm hungry. Um, I don't know what we're going to do for dinner. I thought about potentially going to grab something, but I don't know where. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But definitely excited to get this antibody test. And I'm, I'm excited for some food too because I'm, I'm going back to my diet, guys. I'm going back. Um, anywho, yeah, so that's kind of where things are at right now. I'll keep you posted as more happens. Alright, so I'm We decided to get some bakers. Should have just grabbed it on the way, but Chili's was going to take way too long, and uh, we uh, needed to get some, some stuff. So, anywho, there you have it. There you have it. Going to get some Bakers! I got a, I got, I changed it up a little bit. I got a pollo asada burrito and a pollo quesadilla. There you have it. That is what I'm getting. Sorry, sorry. So I did hear back from the ENT guy and he was saying that, okay, since I'm just sitting here in the car, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. When I interact with the person, I got to put it on. Um, so when I when I chatted with I, I sent a photo and let him know he said if I'm out of antibiotics and it's still about the same they may have to do something different so we'll see what that ends up being I don't know so anyways guys I'm heading over to get some food Woo -hoo! Woo. get it back my quesadilla with chicken and my pollo asada burrito mm. So this is the first time I've had a quesadilla with chicken from Baker's. Not bad. This is pretty good. You know, the quesadilla with chicken is only one additional point. Go figure. Pretty good. A pollo asada burrito. Delicious. Hey guys, so the evening is almost over. I'm winding down, just relaxing a little bit before I, I go up, take a shower. Um, the shower is more just for compress and all that stuff. So anyways, it was, today was a good day. I would say today was a very good day. We got bakers for dinner. I had my salad. I went two points over on Weight Watchers, but that's okay. Two points wasn't bad. Um, so anyways, so it was a good day. It's a good day. Um, so anyways, so yeah, um, I have a testing scheduled for coronavirus antibodies. So we'll see what that ends up turning up and, and all that stuff. So it'd be pretty interesting. So anyways, guys, um, we will chat with you later. I hope you have an awesome, awesome day.
awesome evening for me, but awesome day for you guys. And uh, we will do this again tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.